How's it going guys? We have a medium difficulty question for immuno for step one as well as internal medicine for 2CK. Nearly identical question shows up one of the 2CK clinical mass two series forms. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. Give the video a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The links down below. Find me on Telegram. The links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. 14 year old boy. He has a history of candidal skin infections since birth. Physical examination is unremarkable. His blood smear shows us a hyper-segmented neutrophil. Question wants to know what's most likely to be seen in this patient. So hyper-segmented neutrophil obviously could be related to B12 deficiency or folate deficiency, um, B12 deficiency from diet. But when we put it in the context of some sort of immunologic problem, you need to know it's because immunodeficiencies and autoimmune disorders often go together. So it's likely he has pernicious anemia. Now, some students watching this clip will get pulled into the pernicious anemia specifically, get very confused here and say, I don't understand how pernicious anemia would relate to immunology. Okay. As I just fucking said, it's because I could have given you vitiligo. Okay. I could have said he has diabetes type one, that he has dermatomyositis. Yes. As a kid, Okay, they give you, there's a 14 year old on one of the PEDS forms with dermatomyositis, actually a 12 year old. So it could be any autoimmune disorder here. And we're just saying, well, candle skin infection since birth, this is going to be chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis. Now, the clinical mastery series form for TCK, they give you a 17 year old girl who they say has had candle skin infection since birth. They say had a history of autoimmune thyroiditis and had a two-year history of diabetes mellitus type 1. Now, some students say, well, can't diabetes type 1 cause, or diabetes in general, just cause candidal infections? Sure, but if you have a two-year history of diabetes but candidal infections since birth, clearly the candidal infections aren't from the diabetes. So this is chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis. So let's just whip through the answer choices here. Choice A, antibodies against TSH receptor, wrong fucking answer. This would refers to Graves disease, okay, activating antibodies. The, acti the antibodies are called TSI, thyroid stimulating immunoglobulin. Now you say, well, I thought you just said aut autoimmune diseases go together. So if he has chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis, pernicious anemia, couldn't he also have Graves disease? Sure, in theory he could, but it's the wrong fucking answer because when we look at the other answer choices, there's a better answer, okay? So let's keep going here. Choice B, deficiency of cell-mediated immunity, is the correct answer. Okay, now this is what you need to know. Chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis, candidal skin infection since birth, kid will otherwise be unremarkable in terms of presentation, and USMLE wants you to know it is a T-cell dysfunction. Okay, some literature might say it's combined B and T-cell. It's fucking wrong, okay? They want T-cell dysfunction. They'll say it's chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis, ask you which cell is fucked up, you're going to choose T-cell, okay? And they want deficiency of cell-mediated immunity. Cell-mediated immunity in broad terms just refers to T-cell-mediated immunity where immunoglobulins are not part of the picture, okay? So T-cells interacting with macrophages, okay? T-cells that could interact with viral infected cells separately, that's cell mediated immunity. If we have CD4 T cells interacting not with macrophages, but with B cells, where the B cells mature into plasma cells produce immunoglobulins, that's humoral immunity. Okay. So this is what you need to know. T cell dysfunction, deficiency of cell mediated immunity. That is the answer on the 2CK. Okay. Clinical mastery series form even though this sounds very step one like and is absolutely fair game for step one, deficiency of humoral immunity is going to be the answer for both IgA deficiency, makes sense, IgA is going to be in your gut, uh, respiratory tract, secretions, okay? So that's humoral immunity, as well as Bruton, A gamma globulinemia. So you might just get classic vignette of Bruton, classic vignette of IgA deficiency, you don't want to get crazy tangential with presentations right now, then the answer would just simply be deficiency of humoral immunity. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, deficiency of terminal complement proteins, wrong answer, albeit exceedingly high yield for recurrent serial infections, both meningitis as well as gonorrhea, okay, long discussion, but they could give you, for instance, a kid who has waterhouse Fredrickson syndrome, uh, and then just ask you what his immunodeficiency is, answer is deficiency of terminal complement.
okay, C5 through C9. They can say a kid has a gonococcal infection. He had one a few years ago as well. Terminal complement deficiency, okay. Exceedingly high yield all over the NBME exams. Terminal complement deficiency questions, recurrent nasal serial infections. Wrong fucking answer. Choice E impaired leukocyte adhesion wrong answer. So most students will know the buzzy point that this is often delayed separation of umbilical cord at birth. Questions don't have to mention that. Only about 50% of LAD leukocyte adhesion deficiency questions will mention that detail. Uh, the other key point you need to know is that there will be absent pus slash neutrophils at the site of infection slash skin. Okay, so you get some nebulous presentation, not really sure what's going on. They just say in one of the lines, absent neutrophils are seen in the skin, or absent pus is seen outside of infection. They don't mention anything about delayed separation on umbilical cord at birth. It's leukocyte adhesion deficiency, okay? Deficiency of LFA1 CD18 integrin. Sometimes the answer in USMLE can just be integrin to that question. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.